Christmases are coming fast, and that means folks are going to be spending money. This morning, though, we have some tips to make sure, help you make sure, that you don't break your budget. Gary Symington is with Debt Free America, and he's here with some real practical advice. And, and Gary, let's begin by letting the folks know uh, that one of your main jobs is help counseling folks who have gotten way overboard in their debt. That's correct. So I, I think I come from a pretty unique perspective with with 18,000 clients in, in credit card debt and trying to help them get out of that, that trouble. So oh, Once you get in, it's tough. So, so tough to get out. Sure is. How do you avoid getting in it in the first place? Um, you can really set, set standards for yourself. You, know, you, you don't want to live uh, above your means. You want to uh, budget things that, that you can definitely take care of, and, and you want to stick to your budget uh, at, at all means possible. So. Is the most common thing that people tend to credit card shop during the holidays and put everything and try and defer the payments till after the year? That's correct. We always recommend that, that people set a cash budget and uh, put cash in an envelope that you know you're going to spend. And once the cash runs out, for the people that didn't get gifts, um, you know, unfortunately they're, they're a little left out, but it, it forces you to really spend uh, only what you have and, and not go above and beyond your means. So after you set the budget and, and you know, is, is it a good idea to sort of put everything on paper so you know who you're shopping for and what you want to spend per person? It sure is. The most important part of this whole uh, Christmas spending, holiday spending process is putting everything down on paper. Track your receipts, track what people you're supposed to buy gifts for, how much you're going to spend on those gifts, and make sure you stick to that budget because, you know, without a budget, you're really going to get into a lot of trouble. If you do go over the budget, you find yourself with a hefty credit card balance real quickly, and I know this is a, a long-term thing, but what are some of the things you suggest people to do to get out of that credit card debt? Um, to get out of the credit card debt, right now the credit card companies themselves are about to raise the minimum payments on the credit cards themselves. So they're talking about going 100% increase, which would raise it from, you know, if you had an $80 minimum payment, you're talking about $160 a month. And to a lot of people who are buying the expensive gas now, the expensive uh, San Diego properties, things like that, that extra payment, that's really going to hurt them in the long run. So mm -hmm. I would definitely avoid that if at all possible. Mm -hmm. And if, if you make a minimum payment, you're not going to pay off your debt. You're going to be paying on it for years. That's correct. You know, it would say right now probably 23 years to pay off your debt if you pay the minimums only. Mm -hmm. And uh, with the increased payments, they say, you know, 10 to 15 years, which is better but that's still a lot of time to be under that debt load. And that's only if you don't charge any more. Correct. Debt Free America is Gary Symington's company. Thank you. Good tips. Stick to that budget. Stick to your list. Thank you very much. Thanks for having us. Thanks.